the way it was introduced, uh, in front of a closed curtain, you, as John Adams, you stepped out in front and you started. And, you know, they're wrestling their programs and getting settled in their seats and you would just insist that they listen to you. I don't know how else to put it. And with that, and with then you could hear a pin drop, you felt like you owned the stage. And you could do no wrong. It was all, whatever you did was right for John Adams. And that was such a freedom and such a sense of power that it was a very uh, attractive part for me to play for a long time, <laughs> which I did. But that's the way that came about. And, uh, you know, it, it was a well done play. I mean, it was well written. Uh, Peter Stone uh, uh, took this uh, script and made it better, much better than it was at the beginning. And uh, I don't know, I enjoyed it. It was, it was hard because I had, I was, he never really left the stage, you know. He had nine musical numbers. You open, you know, and say, one man is a disgrace. Two, uh, make a law firm. And three or more, make a Congress. And by God, I've had this Congress. And suddenly, this is the first rehearsal, all these voices came in, all, all singers. And wow, I thought, holy mackerel. What were they singing? Sit down, John. <laughs> sit down, John. For God's sake, John, sit down. I thought, oh boy. That sounds pretty good. <laughs> uh, that's when I thought maybe we had something. Because I asked backwards into everything. I think nothing's going to work and all of that. Um, but this, this convinced me with those voices. And they were all singers. So it was, a, it was a wonderful experience for me to play that role. It really was.